A scrawny, shabby stray cat had been sleeping by the door for almost a month. There wasn't much of a rug there, just rubber on a thick base. The cat came in regularly, and at the sight of the owner, he always got up and let her go, but almost immediately went back to his place. He had no memory of his past. It seemed that his whole life was woven out of a struggle for survival, endless hunger, and suffering. And yet he sometimes remembered a hearty, warm life in a cozy apartment, gentle hands that stroked the fluffy fur, and a quiet voice. Trouble came unexpectedly. Just one day, his human did not come. In the evening, she was not there, as well as in the morning and all the next day. And then strangers came. Someone was crying, someone wailing, talking about some kind of accident and a slippery road. No one felt pity for the cat. They didn't even remember that he hadn't eaten or even drank anything for a long time. After that, they just threw him out on the street. Since then, he's been homeless. The cold drove him away in search of warm basements. There were many difficult experiences in his life, not yet so long life. It's just that the street life ages people and animals equally. That entryway was no different from the others, except that the cleaner who came in the morning didn't chase him away, though he was ready to run away at the right moment. Sometimes she would bring him food, looking around to make sure the tenants didn't see. They didn't like stray cats in the entryway. Somewhere in the middle of the floors was an apartment that attracted a cat. It's not clear what it was. The door was plain, the mat was standard, and yet the cat was attracted to it. The man who came out of that apartment was unpleasant, and the cat sometimes hissed at him, and the woman was the one who was interested in the stray. During the day, he tried to look for food. At night, he would run away, trying to hide from the tenants and take a place on the mat by the door, waiting. Though he knew he didn't have much energy left. Winter was raging, there was not enough food, and the staircase did not warm up a tired, emaciated body. Sveta had noticed that cat long ago. It was unknown where from. He regularly came to their door, thin, sad, and very dirty. His eyes were filled with universal melancholy, and Sveta felt sorry for the poor fellow. Her husband, on the other hand, hated cats and always dealt with them cruelly. He couldn't even kick a poor animal under the ribs. Once Sveta casually mentioned that she could have taken the stray in, but Vladimir gave her such a look that she immediately regretted her words. And then Vladimir continued, If you take the cat home, I will leave you and you will live out your life alone. The woman loved her husband and sincerely believed that he also loved her and they would live together happily ever after. The coming new year was not much different from the previous ones. Sometimes it seemed to her that it was not a holiday at all, but a waiting for the revision. According to her husband, everything was supposed to be shiny and polished, and the dinner was supposed to be better than in a Michelin restaurant. By Vladimir's demand, even the salads had to be cut into strictly defined cubes, not a millimeter bigger or a millimeter smaller. Now, out of habit, after adding the ingredients, Sveta took a critical look at what she had cooked and suddenly burst into tears. She remembered, she is now alone. Accustomed to doing everything herself, clapped by tradition, and forgot. Just a couple of days ago, her husband casually said that he had another woman in his life, and he left his wife. It was a shame for his mundane tone without a bit of regret. It hurt for the years spent, as it turned out to be useless, and for the son, how to tell a fairly mature boy that his father was leaving the family? Why was there so much cooking? It was unclear how Sveta could withstand those days, but now she finally let the pain out. She howled tearfully until she realized that the tears were gone, and she remembered about her son. He is now, too, not so good. Her son wasn't having the best time of his life. He had fallen in love with his classmate in first grade, had gone through and survived teenage years, graduated from high school and college, and even got a job, all with Nelia by his side. Sveta and her husband, like the girl's parents, were sure that their children would soon be married. After graduation, no one objected. Get married if you want. And then somehow, suddenly, everything ended. For what reason they separated, no one told, but both fell into a dark mood. It was only a couple of days ago the son showed some signs of returning to normal life for the first time by saying that he would be celebrating the new year somewhere in the country with his friends. 
Sveta sighed. Her son was just starting to come around, and she decided to nail him by his dad's decision to leave. She'd better do it a little later. Let him know later. Let her son have a proper celebration of the new year. For some reason, she grasped at the idea of the holidays alone, as if it was the worst and most difficult thing that had happened in her life, and all week only thought about it. New Year's Eve was upon her, and she was sobbing in her own kitchen all alone. The mountain of garbage needed disposal, it needed to be taken out. From the mirror she looked at a swollen and disheveled woman with a particularly wistful look. I'm going to take my mind off it. She wiped away her tears, picked up the garbage bag, and opened the apartment door. You again, said Sveta irritably, wanting to chase the cat away. And suddenly, she realized that her husband, when he spoke about the cat and her living all alone without a husband, he already knew that he would leave, that she was now abandoned anyway, and the cat had absolutely nothing to do with it. The cat could barely look up at her. Whatever happened, she is so sick to her stomach, and the cat understood her. His last strength threatened to run out very soon. Sveta was surprised by her frivolous act, but she decided that now she would just feed the cat and let him sleep in warmth and on something soft. She resolutely nodded to herself, I'll take the cat for one night. However, somehow it happened that when she cried over the cooking of a fish, which her husband loved, the cat was on her lap and her tears quickly ran out. But the washing of the cat and the laying on her lap began. Maybe out of a sense of revenge, she arranged for the animal to lie down on a sweater she had not given as a gift to her husband. The sweater was prepared in advance, and now it was not needed. And then she can't kick away a clean, fragrant smell of French shampoo, blow-dried, and blissfully sleepy cat. And he looked surprisingly so, as if all his life was just there, on a warm, expensive sweater. You know what? Stay at my place. The husband left, the cat came, and there was a balance. Sveta was about to fall into despair and cry again, but then she changed her mind. What kind of nonsense? New Year's Eve is coming up. It's a strange thing, how one little animal can change the atmosphere so much. The cold shadows in the corners turned into a cozy semi-darkness. The table laid according to all the rules, crammed with treats, stopped looking like something inappropriate. The Christmas tree glittered in the corner, no longer causing a desire to throw it off the balcony in despair. And of course she did not want to stay on the balcony, scaring away the fans of fireworks and Christmas parties. What nonsense! It is cold and snowy, and I have the warmth, food, and the kitty cat here. For half a day since the appearance of the cat, Sveta's thoughts had also changed. At first nervously tossing and diving into memories, and now they had become sedate and quiet, as if changing the direction of the chaotic motion. The woman rubbed her face, and the cat looked at her disapprovingly, inexplicably forcing her to approach the mirror. So, what do we see? A woman of 45, she informed her reflection. Maybe you look younger, the mirror hinted, but that face is covered with blotches and puffy eyes and nose. No wonder the cat is embarrassed. She needs makeup. The cat also came in and stood next to the mirror to look at himself. You're pretty as it is, but you're skinny. But that can be fixed, flattered his new owner. Okay, I will not look 25 years young anyway. I am who I am. The cat purred softly, something cat-like, but quite understandable. And then, someone rang the doorbell insistently. Svetlana's heart beat fast and excitedly. Her husband was back. He understood everything and came back. What a happiness! So, wait a second. Why happiness? And why Vladimir immediately came to mind? Sveta hurried to open the door. At the threshold, there was her son, mysterious and enigmatic. Her first thought was that something happened, from which the country house plans were cancelled. It turned out he was not alone. Nelia was standing behind him, embarrassed and blushing. Ivan and Nelia were offering to celebrate together. Her son Ivan wanted to tell his dad about it over the phone, but it turned out that he was no longer with the family. This was a serious shock. The children were only confirmed in the decision to go home. They managed to make up and even decided not to delay the wedding. As they notified Sveta, radiant with happiness, 
The son and Nelia, finding out about father's cruelty, reasonably assumed that mother was lonely and sad, not only on holiday, so they brought a gift, saying that with this gift she would never be alone again. Enigmatic and mischievous, they gave Sveta a box, tied with a bow. There was an adorable puppy sitting there. He sneezed loudly and wagged his tail cheerfully. The cat stared thoughtfully at the puppy and even sniffed him. He behaved quite friendly, very lightly tapped the baby with his paw so that the puppy realized who was the boss here. Then he went to the table to supervise. People bustled around the table bringing something else up, fixing and setting. Tired from the new experiences, the puppy barely managed to eat a portion of boiled chicken and fell asleep in bed. The hands of the clock irresistibly approached 12 o'clock. The cat, fed for the first time in a long time and satisfied with his pack that he had acquired today, and even the unexpected puppy, thought about his cat life, inaccessible to humans. Thought it was very funny, because people think that they are the ones who choose animals. People are weirdos. No, it's the animals that come to bring them out of their loneliness and depression and unnecessary and unneeded thoughts. If you tell them, there's no way they would believe it, but animals always come at the right time and to the right address to the person who needs them most. People, of course, can pass by, can chase, hit, or push the animal away. They always have a choice. They don't want to think about the fact that animals can be useful and help catch a mouse or brighten up loneliness. The choice is made by the individual. Some people get a cat that was recently homeless, and some people get shadows in the corners and howls on the balcony with unbridled loneliness. Some get a dog, and some get an invisible nighttime predator waiting to look out of the darkness. Want more stories? Welcome to the channel! Here you will be immersed in an atmosphere of coziness and unpredictability. Each story is unique, intriguing, and very heartwarming. We look forward to seeing you on the channel!